Hello everyone. In this session, let us take a look at how do you get a D365 FNO trial environment. If you ever tried looking at uh, how do you get D365 FNO free trial, most likely you might have landed onto this page on uh, Starter Dynamics 365 free trial. So if you take a look at the applications that are available, so you got D365 sales, field surveys, and all of them, and you got an option to try them for free. However, if you try reaching down to the uh, supply chain management or finance uh, application, D365 finance or supply chain management, you don't have an option to try them for free. So it just gives you an option to request a demo. This is most likely because uh, Microsoft wanted only the uh, big organizations to try them and not every individual. So today, we are going to see how do you get this access. So I'm assuming you're a small organization who wants to get a trial access. So we'll get started with that note. So the prerequisite is you must have the access to the D365 admin center. Sorry, O365 admin center, Office 365 admin center. You must have the access to it. If in case, you don't have a, a Office 365 admin center access. Uh, as a business, you will be able to try the Office 365 business account for free for the first one month. So let us take a look at this. How do you try that? So you search for O365 uh, business standard, something like this. So then it will take you to the Microsoft official site that will help you create a new uh, O365 business account. So the one that you have here is Microsoft 365 business a basic license, which you can try for the try free for the first one month. So provide your email ID and uh, get started with it. So it would ask you for some basic information, your first name, last name, and what is your company name, company size, and uh, other details. At one point in time, it would also ask you for the, the tax identification number. You would also have to fill that in, and your credit card information as well, because uh, once the free month, free month uh, trial is done, Microsoft will charge you for uh, the business basic plan that you are purchasing. So uh, basically, you know, you might want to try that free for the first one month and uh, you know later you might want to take off that uh, subscription okay all right so uh, you finish this uh, uh, setting up your business account you're gonna get an account something like uh, you know your email id dot on microsoft dot com account so that is your business account so only once you have the access to your Office 365 Admin Center using that uh, on Microsoft.com account, you will be able to uh, request for the free trial for Dynamics 365. Okay, so finish this up. And uh, once after you finish this, then what do you need to do is I'm taking into another browser. Open a Google search page and say, Office 365 Admin Center. So you try logging into your Admin Center now using the uh, credentials or using the account that you just created. So right now I already logged in. That's why I see that, uh, you know, directly landing me into the Admin Center here. It would ask you for the new ID that is created that, that will end something like dot on Microsoft.com. You provide that user account and the password and get into the Admin Center, okay? Once you come into the admin center, this is how it, it would look like. You get into the uh, billing section and then you see your products here. Yeah, this is where you see your Microsoft uh, 365 business basic trial that you have just subscribed for, okay? So in addition to this now, what you would need to get is, uh, you need to go to the marketplace and then uh, subscribe for the Dynamics 365 trial. So come into this all products, and uh, here, uh, view by the category, you just say here Dynamics 365, then you're going to see only the applications related to Dynamics 365. Uh, scroll it down. So somewhere down, you'll find your 
Dynamics 365 trial. So see all Dynamics 365 products and then come down. Right. So you see this uh, Dynamics 365 supply chain management trial. You can take either this or else you can take the one that says Dynamics 365 finance trial. Okay, you have this one. So one of them you can take and then say, uh, go to details and then start the free trial. So when you start the free trial, uh, this product will now get added to your uh, licenses because only when you have the license, then you'll be able to deploy this using the Power Platform Admin Center. Okay, so while this is getting processed, let us go into another page and say Power Platform Admin Center. Okay, so after you create your account and uh, get into even this Power Platform Admin Center, then get into this environments. It may be possible that initially when you created your account and then come into this environment, it might show you some error or something. Then I would recommend you to just leave it like uh, you know, a, a few hours for Microsoft to set up the environment and then uh, have this ready for you. So if you see any error, once you come into this environments page, don't, don't worry about it. Just leave it like that for a few hours. After you come into here, this is where you have to deploy your new environment now. Okay, so here in the other page, you know, we, we tried uh, subscribing to the Dynamics 365 trial, right? I'm just doing a continue there so that it gets completed. Yeah, this is done now. I go into the billing and your products. So here I should be able to see both the products now. One is Dynamics 365 finance trial and the other one is business basic trial. Yeah, this one is important. You have to have this to be able to build your new environment. Now get into the environment section and try creating a new environment. So let's call this as D365 FO environment. And here choose the group none and leave the region to India. And what we just need now is uh, the type is trial subscription based. This is how you have to choose this. I don't want to explain, you know, uh, about this and the other sandbox environment because it's going to be complicating right now. Just go ahead and say next. So leave the language, leave the currency and the security group, leave it to none, set it to none so that it is accessible for everyone. Now enable Dynamics 365 apps. So do you want to enable the Dynamics 365 apps for this environment? Say yes and automatically deploy these apps. So you see here, you got your finance preview here. Only after you uh, subscribe for your Dynamics 365 free trial, only then you'll be able to see this option. Otherwise you don't see that, okay? So even after you subscribed for your Dynamics 365 finance trial and you don't see this here, don't get panic. Uh, leave that for again a couple of hours because I have a little doubt about the uh, the sync process. So save this. So once you do this, uh, you see this new environment is uh, uh, preparing. So it can be used once ready. So you can see the status as uh, preparing. So give it a few hours. At least it will take about uh, one and a half hours to two hours. Once the time is done, uh, you will be able to access this environment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this video and come back and do the video again after this uh, uh, state is ready. Okay. All right, I gave a few hours and came back into this environment and I can see my new environment available here. So I actually faced a, a weird problem. When I came back into this uh, environment section, I could not see my environment that was uh, deployed last time. I don't know what went wrong. But what I did is I have just done the process once again. I created a new environment and did not actually change anything in the steps that need to be followed. So I believe, you know, you don't run into this problem, but if at all, you don't see the environment showing up here, 
uh, I just recommend you to create a new environment and ensure that that comes into the state of uh, ready. Okay. So once you see the state is ready, what you do is get into this uh, environment details. And down here in the finance and operations URL, you're going to see your uh, D365 F100 URL. So click this, that will take you to your D365 F100 environment. So log in with your credentials, the same account that you have used. So it is loading now. So you can see the environment deployed now along with your USMF data. Okay, so you can access it using the company's drop down. Choose your USMF company, that is your preferred legal entity that many people would love to work with. That's it. So with this, you now learned how do you get a new environment for your D365 FNO trial. All right. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Okay.